Hello YouTube, this is Boba7772, and today I am going to show you my review of the Star Wars The Clone Wars Arc Trooper Battle Pack. So without further ado, let's get started. This battle pack included the four figures, their accessories, four stands, one galactic dice, and their four galactic battle cards. Um, their four galactic battle cards the first one, which is the red ARC, is this one. I believe this is the red one. Maybe the blue one. Um, and it looks like from the Rishi Moon, where Cody and Rex are running away from an explosion. But in this case, it is the red Ar ARC Trooper. For this one, here's a blue ARC Trooper. He looks like um, one of the clones from Christosis. Uh, like, that's where his scene is. The Captain Rex, um, from the season two premiere, second episode, um, where they went in space, which is on every battle card, and, uh, for Captain Rex, and Captain Fordo, um, another one from Rookies, um, in Rex's position. So, yes. Articulation for these figures. I will start out with the red ARC. He has a bolt jointed head that rotates around 360 degrees. His shoulders go out and rotate around 360 degrees. His elbows rotate around 360 degrees and can move up or down whichever way you want and his hands move around 360 degrees. His uh, waist rotates around 360 degrees and then moves up and down a little bit. His legs, you can put them into a sitting position so they can bend forward and his legs can bend backward but his uh, little uh, skirt cape type thing uh, kind of prevents that, so you're going to have to adjust it. The knees rotate around 360 degrees, um, and go bend backwards. And the feet rotate around 360 degrees, and you can, um, put the foot down like he's falling. <coughs> this figure has a lot of cool details. One thing that he has is his knee, his knees and below are silver. Him and the other blue ARC come with this backpack that you can fit on him. You can also put a jetpack on them, I believe. His um shoulder, I mean his elbow to his hand are silver, and then um it can also be has a red stripe on this hand. And then on this hand, it has a larger red stripe where he can do his communication thing. He comes with, uh, I'm not exactly sure what to call this, but it's a thing around his neck. <coughs> his um, skirt type thing holds two pistols and has these attachments to it that look like it can hold ammunition and grenades. And his helmet, um... Just a plain white um, Episode 3 helmet looks kind of like it, um, only with a fin and an antenna. So yeah, um, I don't recommend taking the antennas off because they will start getting loose and it's kind of difficult to get back on. <clears throat> For the Captain Rex, this is a new sculpt, or kind of. This is the Commander Bly sculpt. Um, his accessory is this sniper rifle, which he had in the comic. Um, the first Clone Wars comic that's come out. It's about when all Anakin, Obi-Wan, uh, Ahsoka, Rex, Cody, Waxer, and some of the 212th and 501st went to Shili. <clears throat> So, yeah, I'm guessing that this is from that. Um, his helmet's removable. It's a repaint of Bly's face. 
His articulation for him is ball jointed head that can rotate around 360 degrees, shoulders rotate around 360 degrees and go out, elbows rotate around 360 degrees and go down or up depending on how the shoulder is. The hands move like um, that up and down for this hand and around 360 degrees and for this hand it moves side to side like that and 360 degrees around. His waist rotates around 360 degrees. His legs um, bend forward and backwards. His knees um, bend back and rotate around 360 degrees. And his feet bend down and rotate 360 degrees. Um, some cool things about this figure, which are also on Captain Fordo, but I'll get to that in a second, are, um, <clears throat> it looks kind of like somebody customized it, uh, not like some, I don't know how to say this, who doesn't customize, who's kind of new to customizing, kind of painted it, because the paint isn't in a straight line, it's like whack, and that's on his shoulder pads. Uh, not shoulder pads, um, arms, all, uh, yeah, shoulder pads too, but, um, arms, all around the arms, and also on his, um, little thing that goes around his neck. And the thing around his waist, um, holds two pistols, and yeah, that's pretty much, um, old Captain, or old Commander Bly, um, painted into Captain Rex form, which is really cool. Next, the blue ARC. Um, his articulation is pretty much the same for the other ARC. It's ball jointed head that rotates around 360 degrees. Oh, and I forgot on both their antennas um, will go move. <clears throat> so anyway, a ball jointed head rotates around 360 degrees. Shoulders rotate around 360 degrees and move um, out. Elbows rotate around 360 degrees and go down or up depending on how you have it. And hands rotate around 360 degrees. Waist rotates around 360 degrees. His legs bend forward and back. His knees bend back and rotate around 360 degrees. And his feet rotate around 360 degrees and then down. Like the other ARC, this one comes with a backpack which you can fit right on the back of him. He has um, another one of these things that go around his neck only the other one has a bit more armor on it. On his um, skirt thing that goes around his waist he has the ammo grenade packs again and two places for his two pistols. His helmet is painted, um, has some customization to it, blue as you can see, it's really cool. And he has four dots, or four squares on it. Um, last figure, um, my favorite from this pack, <clears throat> Captain Fordo. He comes with two pistols, um, they're kind of different though, which I'll get, um, yeah. Two pistols, which are the ones that come with the green, um, trooper commander in another pack that came out earlier this year. Um, they will hold in his little skirt thing. And then his gun. Um, these are all things that Captain Fordo had in the original Clone Wars series, but since, um, Hasbro cannot call, um, cannot make figures from the original Clone Wars series anymore. They could not put Captain Fordo on the uh, box. So they just had to call him Clone Arc Trooper Commander or whatever it's called. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Captain Fordo. It has all the paint designs on, of him. Um, articulation is pretty much the same as Rex, only no removable helmet. Um, 
head rotates on 360 degrees, antenna goes up and down. Um, Rex is, is the only one in this pack who does not do that. His antenna is a bit easier to come on and off. His shoulders rotate around 360 degrees, go out. Elbows rotate around 360 degrees and go down or up or anywhere in between, depending on how you have it. And hands rotate around 360 degrees. This one goes up and down like that. And this one goes from side to side like that. Um, a three rotates around 360 degrees at the right waist. His legs bend forward and backwards. His knees bend back and rotate around 360 degrees. His feet both bend down and rotate around 360 degrees. <clears throat> this is a really cool figure. Um, for detail on him, he looks kind of the same as Rex, where, how I put it, it looks like a customizer, um, new to, somebody new to customizing painted it, to where it's not a straight line, all across his arms and on his, uh, thing that goes around his neck. Also, on this one, it's on his helmet. <clears throat> so, kind of battle damage I guess. Um, he comes with the two blaster pistols, not like Rex and the other two guys have but like the green commander has in the uh, uh an older pack that came out um earlier this year <coughs> so that's pretty much all the detail that came on him um some things um about all these figures um you can take off the three um not rex but the other three their helmets they don't have a removable helmet but you can take off their heads and put on a regular clone trooper um, head on it. Um, it fits perfectly, which is really cool. <clears throat> um, I will rate these figures. Um, I will rate them individually, and then each, um, and then you know, all together as a pack. This one I would rate four out of five because he. Um, he there's a few things. It's hard to articulate him because he has a bit too much. Um, but I guess that's not fully Hasbro's fault. <clears throat> His shoulders are kind of hard to move, um, even without that. His, um, joints seem to be a bit loose. And his hands don't move like Rex's and Fordo's. Um, pretty much the same for the blue one. So four out of five on those two. Rex would be a 5 out of 5. I don't see any flaws on him. He is how my favorite kind of clone trooper is. Um, I love the Bly sculpt, and I'm glad that they gave it to Rex. So 5 out of 5. And then my favorite figure from this pack, Captain Fordo, I would rate a 5 out of 5. Um, he's a really cool figure, and he's one of my favorite Star Wars characters. So that would probably be one of the reasons. I don't see much flaw with him. And another thing I forgot to mention that they added was this thing that goes around his wrist. You can take on and off um, to have a regular communication thing or this, I guess, advanced one or something. So, yeah, it's cool. This is my favorite battle pack that has come out. Um, so, I would highly recommend getting this. Um, I would give it a 5 out of 5 um, uh, altogether. If you find this in stores... I would pick it up because these are kind of hard to find, uh, I know in my area at least. And these are some of the coolest figures in the whole Clone Wars um, series so far. So yes, thank you for watching and may the Force be with you.